established the Timana Performing Arts uh, School of uh, Fijian Meke, Dance, Culture and Language, about uh, three and a half to four years ago, at uh, West Auckland at the Pacifica Arts Centre at uh, Corbin's Estate. Born and raised in Fiji, but educated here in New Zealand as well as Hawaii. I always had this thing of who am I? Uh, am I Fijian? Am I European? Am I Afakasi or so forth? But always came back to my childhood upbringing where I was greatly influenced by my Fijian grandmother. Uh, she's the one who taught me the language and uh, gave me my basic understanding of Fijian culture. So basically the boys are performing a Fijian mekewau. So the words talk about Naivalu. Naivalu is a war, a great war. You hear in the, the lyrics of the Meke, the ground is thundering, thunder is on the horizon, dust is rising. Enemies are before us, but here we are, we are strong and we are one. So the dance is talking about a battle that is taking place. So that's, the, I think, the basic rule with Fiji and Meke. It is a lot stiffer, it's more uh, restrained. So being masculine, but still being able to be graceful in a probably a warrior-like way. Probably the execution of the motions, the swinging of the club, that's meant to demonstrate your prowess or your confidence. The boys depict receiving the blessing from their chief before entering into battle. And I like the symbolism in this. Uh, I like to tell the kids during these performances when I'm teaching them uh, that this is something they can use in life. Um, the chief is symbolic of our elders or our parents. Always do things with their knowledge and their blessing and you should always come out victorious. So symbolically, that's basically what the boys are representing, uh, but they're also telling the story of an ancient battle that took place many, many years ago. Tomai, Tomai, Tomai! So the girls are performing a mekeiri. This is a Fijian women's fan dance. So of course, uh, preceding a club dance, there's always the women's dance will come in and compliment. The women's dance highlights 
the importance of women in Fijian society. Uh, they're basically like the senet rope or our mangi mangi, the coconut husk fibers that is used to lash our huts together. Uh, it's used to lash the great canoes together, as well as the women make the handiwork for the sail. So basically without them, society would crumble. And their dance, they're depicting a celebratory time, singing of uh, the great legends of the great names of chiefs, the great battles, the great victories. It's basically like a, uh, almost like a genealogical um, recitement of uh, history in the area. I love the contemporary side of uh, performing arts and I think it's so crucial and vital to, to a living culture. And I think um, contemporary is definitely an important factor because it, it tells the world, it tells people that we're still alive. And what we see as tradition today in our Fijian culture, we must be careful to to draw the traditional line and say, nah, this is what we, our ancestors did. That tradition evolved from something else. And I think <clears throat> the day we say that tradition is this, we become a museum exhibit and our culture is uh, a dead culture, not a living culture. 
But my caution is to the younger generation is learn your traditional first. It's like our yavu. Yavu is like our, like our marae in Fijian. So whenever a house is built, the foundation is, there's a earth mound, and then it's stacked up with rocks around the side. So it's always an elevated platform. The house is built on top. I like to liken child or a young person's life to that foundation. What you lay at the foundation will provide the foundation for the future to stand on. And if it's not sure, solid and firm, you'll be blown around just like the tumbleweeds in the desert. So contemporary is fine, but ground yourself first. This is what I teach my kids. Learn the basics, learn the tradition. From there you can create whatever. At least you know what your foundation is and you're, you're sure and solid to face whatever challenge in the future.